Hello everybody, it's the Film Optimist, and today I'm talking about B-Movie. B-Movie. <laughs> Hello, Jerry Seinfeld? Yes, this is DreamWorks Animation. Yeah, uh-huh. The guys that made Shrek and Madagascar, that's us. Listen, we wanted to know if you could lend... <laughs> if you would lend your voice for our next film, B-Movie. Yeah, you'll be voicing a B, but not just any B. You'll be the lead B. Hello, Jerry? That's how the call should have went, but as it would turn out, Seinfeld needs work. Uh, Barry is a bee who is unlike any other bee. What a surprise. He leaves the hive and starts talking to humans, which is illegal by the way, and he finds out that humans are enslaving bees and stealing their honey. Dude, I shit you not when I tell you that Barry, who, I remind you, is a bee, actually sues the honey companies. Long story short, Barry fucks everything up and he needs to fix it. A lot of crazy stuff goes down in this film, including a bee-human relationship. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. This movie, this movie's in my top 10 DreamWorks films of all time. I got fucking mucus out of nowhere. I've been fighting this fucking, uh, this sickness for like close to four weeks now. Fucking B movie. I can't believe this. Like, some people, not to be confused with Maya the Bee. <laughs> Holy shit. This is DreamWorks Animation Productions. What, which one was this? Okay, let's see this. DreamWorks is such a clusterfuck of movies. Terrible first film. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10... their 15th movie ever made and and DreamWorks is all over the place and I can uh, B, B movie is one of those movies that I, I completely understand why people are like it's such a piece of shit movie um, but I will also like fight to death fight someone to, to the death over this film that it's a masterpiece this movie is amazing in my opinion it couldn't be any any better um Fucking Barry B. Benson is his name. <laughs> what does the B stand for? Barry B. Benson. Um, an idealistic honeybee who has the ability to talk to humans has recently graduated from college and is about to enter the hives Hunex Industries honey making workforce with his best friend Adam Flayman. Barry is initially excited to join the workforce, but his ambitious, insubordinate attitude emerges upon discovering that his choice of job would never change once picked. Later, the two bees run into a group of pollen jocks, bees who collect pollen from flowers outside the hive, and they offer to take Barry with him if he is bee enough. While on his first pollen gathering expedition in New York City, Barry gets lost in the rain and ends up on the balcony of a human forest named Vanessa Bloom. Her name is fucking Vanessa Bloom. I didn't know her last name was Bloom. Upon noticing Barry, Vanessa's boyfriend Ken attempts to squash him, but Vanessa gently catches and releases Barry outside the window, saving his life. They develop a close friendship, bordering on attraction, and spend time together. Yeah, that's... Renee Zellweger is Vanessa Bloom. Matthew Broderick is Adam Flayman? I didn't know that. Is he fucking really? The nerdy friend is Matthew Broderick? Fucking Simba? Ferris Bueller, of course. But yeah. John Goodman is Leighton T. Montgomery. Pat Patrick Warburton. Bader. He's fucking Ken. He's the boyfriend. Who doesn't under he's like, I don't understand you. Why are you talking to this fucking bee? <laughs> he gets jealous over a bee. Chris Rock is Moose Blood the Mosquito. I remember that. He's like a bee. Kathy Bates is Janet B. Benson is the mom. Barry Lee Levinson is Martin B. Benson. I don't know Barry Levinson. What a bunch of shit. Megan Mulali? Megan Mulali? Mulali? Judy Hunnick's tour guide. Rip Torn is Pollen Jocks. General Lou DeLuca. Rip Torn? Oh, I know Rip Torn. Oh, yeah. R.I.P. Oh my god, Rip. Um, Oprah Winfrey is Judge Bumbleton. I did not know Oprah was in this fucking movie. 
Michael Richards is Bud Ditchwater. <laughs> Bud. <laughs> Bud. Oh, fucking shit. Michael Richards was in this movie. It makes sense. Cause Kramer, you know, Seinfeld. But so this is this is right before he like tanked his fucking career by saying the N-word. Larry King is, is B. Larry King. It's one of my favorite jokes. He's like on new. He's on the news with Barry B. Vincent's on the news with fucking B. Larry King. Hi, I'm B. Larry. I'm B. Larry King. He's like, did you know there's a human version of you in the real world? And he's like, God, uh, un, 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 unbelievable. Like, I don't believe it. Fucking funny. Larry Miller is Dean Buswell. I love uh, Larry Miller. I don't. I didn't know his name, but I love the face. I know him. He's in a lot of shit. Jim Cummings is the title narrator and graduation announcer. Jim Cummings is probably my favorite voice actor of all time. Does Winnie the Pooh and a bunch of other fucking voices. Um, David Moses Pimentel is Hector. Chuck Martin is Andy. Brian Hopkins as Sandy Shrimpkin and CSA agent. John DiMaggio is in this fucking movie as Bailiff and Jenner. I don't know why I'm surprised at all these like voice actors. I just I don't remember John DiMaggio's voice being in this. Tress McNeil, I know Tress McNeil, she's in a lot of shit too. She's Dot in Animaniacs, and Babs Bunny in Tiny Tutor Adventures, and Gadget Hackridge on Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, and Daisy Duck. Oh yeah, she's a lot of Daisy, yeah that's right, she is Daisy Duck. As Jeanette Chung in Mother and Cow. Simon J. Smith, Ray Liotta as himself. R.I.P., holy shit, that's fucking crazy. Sting as himself pretty funny he gets we'll get to that robert jane and then carl cassell as himself so this is why i love b movie this is why i will fight anybody i will fist fight people over this fucking movie like i mentioned in my review he sues he sues the human race it's not just the honey companies he's su he's basically suing suing the human race I guess I was right in my review. It is the it is just the honey companies, but this is bigger than that, because the human race is essentially stealing honey. That's how he sees it. You're stealing our honey, and everyone's like he's getting it way in over his head. He's always been an ambitious bee, but uh, this is this is crazy. But he gets a fucking lawyer and everything. I think Adam Flamen is his lawyer, and. <laughs> John Goodman as Leighton T. Montgomery. He's like a he's like a fucking foghorn leghorn. He's like, oh, I say, I say. He's a fucking country uh, lawyer. And he tries to get them riled up to sting him. And the preconceived notion is when a bee stings any anything, they die. Their stinger falls off. Um, I guess it's it's actually they can't sting humans because their stinger gets stuck inside of us. Some sometimes it doesn't always happen, but um, about like 80% chance of death because they're, when their uh, stinger falls off, they're dead. So th it's not that they can't sting ever. It's just that they should probably not sting humans. And the only reason they sting humans is for self-defense. Um, so they try to get him to sting. It was so, it's so fucking funny that he gets Adam to sting him and Adam does not die. Um, like I said, it's like an 80% chance. He doesn't die, but he almost, he's like in critical condition. Um, and fucking, the lawyer comes in like the next time, and he has like a fucking neck brace on, and fucking cast and shit. It's really fucking funny. Um, so, and Ray Liotta's in this movie, um, as himself, because in the movie there's a brand of honey called Ray Liotta's Honey. That's, it's, that's it. That's the joke. I love that they got Ray Liotta just to be himself. <laughs> um, and Sting is himself. He's getting sued because his name is Sting. And he doesn't have a stinger. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. It teaches a really, really good lesson here, though. Um, that I think is important. In all, in all seriousness, like... It's fucking ridiculous. He he sues. He wins. Okay, he wins. <laughs> he wins. Fucking insane. Craziest thing that's ever happened in a DreamWorks movie ever, ever, and can't be replicated. Can't be topped. 
They tried to with Turbo, and we'll talk about that whenever I talk about whenever I review Turbo. But it can't be it can't be done. It can't be topped. So he wins. They have to shut down all of their honey production. They have to legally shut down everything. Um, so they do, and all the flowers start dying. Vanessa's business go goes under because you can't sell flowers anymore and she can't keep them growing because bees don't have to pollinate anymore they don't have to do anything the beehive gets lazy as shit they don't do anything they're just laying around it's their honey now it's they can do whatever they want with it but then like what are they gonna fucking do with it and they're like well let's drink up let's eat it let's do this let's let's play in it yeah and the entire world is on like the brink of extinction like we're about to die out as a species because the bees are now in 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 essence lazy as fuck they're being lazy as shit and they're not helping anymore and we're we're dying we need not just honey we need them to pollinate we need them to do all this, all this other shit but they're not doing it anymore because they don't need to bees are important but they frame the bees as being lazy pieces of shit yeah, I don't know. It's I think it's fucking awesome. I think it's really, really, really well done for a movie called B Movie. That's so stupid. Like, there's so many stupid B puns. Jerry Seinfeld is like, I think, in my personal opinion, grossly overrated. <laughs> but just because of this, I'm like, I love Seinfeld. I don't. I've never really seen the, the TV series. From what I've gathered, the the finale, while being really shitty, makes a lot of sense because the characters were all pieces of shit, I guess, um, which is pretty funny. So that's um, that's B movie. Um, tell me what you guys thought of this film, uh, this perfectly perfect film. My mom says in this review. A movie that you learn something and it's fun. I also teared up. I like how she spelled tear, T-R apostrophe D. That's pretty sick, Mom. That's pretty dope. Um, yeah. So that's a B movie. I, it's in my top ten. If it's not my tenth favorite, it's up there. Um, I can't wait to do my fucking rankings. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so you guys have a good one. Thank you for watching. Take care.